Okay, so I bought myself a birthday present. Opened it last night. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. What have we got? It's another box. Can't forget the destruction. Well, it was well packaged. Okay, so we have some screws. Oh, it's got a go handle. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. It's supposed to have, you can see that or not, Bluetooth. I gotta go in and download that stuff. Batteries are dormant five to nine volts from leaving the factory. They need to be charged for one minute. All right, we'll get, uh, we'll get into it. Out of the box, we have 12.12 .12 volts. No, nope, no, it's bouncing around. 12.12, it went up to 13.8. It is a Vestwoods VC12100 Plus. 1280 watt hours or 100 amps. It's supposed to be the same size as Group, four, uh, group 24. Well, we're going to find out. And it looks like it weighs about... 24.8 pounds. They say when it's shipped, it's shipped with six volts. This one wasn't, and I, I hooked this up last night just to see if I could make it work. I have not really turned it on for any length of time. So right now, off the bat, out of the box, we've got 13.13 .13 DC voltages. And if I can get the app to work, I'll show you that too. It's called Pow Bank. power bank and you got Bluetooth or you got scan There's a barcode on the other side of the battery so we're going to do Bluetooth search there it is we're going to load it okay so if you can see this or not 13.1 uh, we got zero amps moving 50% state of charge and that's it and then you got your temperature's inside, and I'm assuming this is the usage of the the, uh, the brain in the battery. If we go on status, there's no information. Your name of the battery. I don't know, I hit menu over here. There's battery switching. I assume that's to go to the next one if you had a bunch. That's it. That's the whole app. It just tells you how how uh, discharged it is. Okay, so I have the same battery charger that we used in the other videos. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say charge, and then I'm going to go to AGM battery, and we're going to see what it does. My battery's in here somewhere. The discharge voltage is 10 to 13. It also comes with a bunch of destructions on the other side, which I'm just going to throw them away. The goal here is to put this in the motorhome without making any other changes. I want to see if it can be done and how the camper reacts to it. So we're going to let that cook for a little while. Uh, as of right now, this video is not sponsored. I have written the company, asked them if they'd be interested, and I'm being ignored. So, Vestwoods. If you're watching, you gotta you gotta respond to emails. Don't leave a fella hanging. Okay, now with the 13.22 with the charger running, so we're gonna let it cook. We're gonna get it up to the point where that says it's charged. I guess that's the plan. And then we're gonna run the app again and see what the internals have to say about that. So I, I'm under the impression that it's going to get up to 80% and then quit. So this 100 amp battery will give me 80 amps versus the group 24 that I'm taking out, which would give me 50. That's the, the theory anyway. Now fully charged with solar, this is supposed to put out 100 amps total, which is equivalent to the two batteries that I'm taking out. I only bought one because they're expensive. 
and I wanted to see how it would go before I committed to a second one. Okay, we got a little change here. The fan just came in um, into play here. This is 60%. That's not hot in here. It's 70 degrees. We're charging at 2.8 amps. That's new. We're at 50.2%. Two point eight amps. So we're we're in the trickle charge. We're on automatic, but the trickle charge on this Harbor Freight Viking charger that's supposed to fix batteries. I'm assuming if that was 0 0.2 amps, it's been about uh, close to an hour. So 0 0.2 amps an hour. Uh, we're going to be here for a while. Okay, I've made some changes. I've gone up to the 15 amp boost charge. We've got 13.4 volts, 14.2 amps going in. That should speed things up a little bit. We're still at 50, uh, we're at 51.2 now. There's the screen. This app is really limited. I don't know what other information I'd like to see, but you know, this is my first lithium battery, but I, I expected more than this. Well, anyway, memory is at 54%. Why a battery needs memory is beyond me. And the brain of the, ba of the battery is at 51%. I don't know. The temp gauge says PCB, ambient, minimum, max. But minimum and max are both 20. And clicking on it doesn't seem to do anything. Status version. 23 degrees in uh, communist measurements. I don't know what that is in English or American, but that's what it is now. Okay, we're at two hours in. This now says 70% charged. This is 71%, and it's sucking up 14.3 amps. Now the temperature inside is now 30. Uh, ambient temp, I'm assuming ambient temp means outside, which I'm not sure how they're getting that. 55% memory, 52% CPU, but 30 degrees inside, and whatever, 30 communist. The C stands for communist, right? So whatever, that's what it is inside. Two hours, 71%, and it's matching fairly closely what's on the screen here. Okay, we're on hour three, I believe. We are at 86%. That still says 70, but we're at 86.4% on here. Temperature's up to 31. I should probably look that up. 87.8 degrees and uh, freedom units. Okay, 86 degrees, three hours. We started at 50. Okay, so we are at hour four, and we're at 100%. This still says 70, 13.6 volts. Let's see what we got, 13.57. So we got 13.57 volts. This says 13.6, 100% capacity. Let me turn the charger off, boy that was loud. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so apparently this apparently this Harbor Freight Viking automatic battery fixer-upper in AGM mode will charge this battery to 100% capacity. So that's good to know. Uh, one thing I did notice, this, you hear that? Okay, this battery was changing shape as it was being charged. Not a lot, I mean just a little every once in a while. So it does actually change shape. Here's your go handles. The Vestwoods 12.8 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, which you would think that would be lithium iron. Unless I'm completely off base here. But they say this is the one that doesn't explode and catch fire, so 
decided to give it a shot. So next video, if you care to tune in, will be me bringing the camper up. It's a 40-year-old camper. It's been featured in other videos. And we'll tear the old batteries out. We'll put this bad boy in and we'll see what it does. Thanks for watching.